Fair enough, we lot. E. The room was pitch black. I couldn't see a thing. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah, man. Get that light turned on. So annoying. Ba -bum! In the corner of the room was a pizza delivery scooter. Ah. Just like the one the killer had escaped on. Well, I'm hoping Nico told him that, because why did he know that? The pizza delivery guy ran away on foot. Bro, I didn't go to the bottom of the screen. Jesus. Shredder. Oh, there's a puzzle here. The shredder's fucked. We need to... Yeah. The shredder was jammed. George put it nicer than I did. I was just feel like the shredder's fucked, man. I tried to free the gears, but they were jammed solid. The oil. Its service was long overdue. I. It's been so long since I played this, but I just like there remember. Was jammed in the. You just, whenever you see it, it, like comes back to you. I wish I I could get this feeling like I did with Broken Sword One again, but I played it so many times, I'll never have that feeling of like playing Broken Sword One for the first time again. But this has come the pretty close. This is cool. Catch on the side. Well. Open it. The air vent had a tiny catch on the side. Surely we don't use this on it again. It we? felt like the perfect opportunity to use Lane's clippers. Sadly, they were designed to cut, not lever. Huh. So we need some sort of leverage. Boy. Oil had dripped from the <coughs> floor. Excuse me. We use this on this. There's a puzzle coming up some oil onto the where we uh, four four viewers and I think we're the number one Brooklyn Sword Five streamer in the world right now. We use the oil on the shredder. I'm almost sh sure of that. I don't know how we open that vent though. I smeared the gears with oil. Oh yeah, baby, smear it. This is ass. We have to do a puzzle here. It was time to see what was in the letter. Oh my god. Oh my god, bruv. Rearrange the pieces and interact with the piece to pick it up. You can move the piece to a different location. Simply move the piece to a new position and interact to drop it to that place. <coughs> Grab the paper clip. Oh, the paper clip will give us get us into that place. It was the letter from Henri. Oh yeah! Security had the contract for the exhibition, and it also revealed who was in charge at Vera. A guy called Madovsky. Roman Madovsky is based on a real. Mill. Person exists. But why was thanking Madovsky for being oh, wait, you see what he looks like. And why was he pleased to represent Crazy him? Crazy shit. Is all I'm Maybe saying. Madovsky was the owner we've been looking for. It didn't add up. The I had a gut feeling. George says it doesn't add up. There was um, something fishy going on. And open this. Can we use the paper clip? It doesn't seem like it would be strong enough. The oh, paper work. clip was perfect for the job. There was definitely something in there. Wait, get your hand in. Now, what are you gotcha? Well, a gun? would you believe it? It was a gun. And very likely the one that had been used to shoot Henri. Aha! So, what have we here? L'Americain, Monsieur Stobart. Fuck Nave. You will rule He's a pain in the ass. My path, because now you are caught in my net like a little red herring. Like a little Inspector, red herring. I'm investigating the robbery. No, monsieur. You are breaking and entering an innocent storeroom. I found the murder weapon. Found? No. Planted? Yes. Mu, arrest this man How and take him to the station. That? Well, everybody else there knew, knows it wasn't me that pulled the fucking trigger on that gun, so... Until your pips. Squeak. 
What? This guy's a dick. Nico's apartment. Thanks, Ray. Oh, I just man. wish I'd got some better shots of the killer. Are you kidding? That stuff from the hip. Very dramatic. Very good, that looks. It ain't good, Nico. So, what's next? Get me an interview with the owner, and you've got Sunday's front page. I'm on it already. Keep me up to speed. Let me know before you write anything up, okay? I'm there. Of course. Oh, gotta go. Someone at the door. Monsieur? Monsieur? Are you Nicole Collard? Who the fuck yes, is this old guy? I, help you? I need to sit down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I need to sit down here. We're going to chat to this old fella and then we're going to call it a night, guys. <coughs> Elderly man, what's the crack? Would you like a glass of wine? Yeah, those stairs are a nightmare. Where aren't they speaking French? Is he French? What a weird thing. Mm -hmm. Like if some old dude just shows up and you're like, do you want some wine? Is that maybe just normal so, in France? What can I do for you, monsieur? You know, you don't My know. name is Tiago Marquez. I saw your report on the robbery. I found your address. I came straight away. I needed to see you. And why is that? The stolen painting, La Malediction. It belongs to me. Ronnie had wanted me to interview the owner. And now, here he was. Or rather, he was somebody who claimed to be the owner. Huh. So this stolen painting is yours. Tell me more. La Maledicio belonged to my family in Catalonia in the 30s before the Civil War. Ah, from the start so of the game. So what was it doing here in Paris? The fascists stole it in 1938. They killed my father, but not me. I escaped. I have been looking for it ever since. Okay. You have to help me find it. Alright, man, I'm already looking for it, so... Two birds, one stone. Tell me about yourself. I am Tiago Marquez, the rightful Oh, owner that was the kid, La wasn't it? Tiago. What at the start you of the game. That you gave him the, the, you the, traveled all the way from necklace. I remember this guy. No, since the war, I've lived in France, in the southwest. And now I want the painting back. Alright, bro, come Did on and chill. It's, it's all yours. The <laughs> When they came for us in 38, I fled with my mother, but my father was not so lucky. I'm sorry. I would have stayed and fought for freedom, but I was just a boy. I was just a boy. You've got my attention, but if I'm to help you, I need more to go on. I have something. It's all photographs. <laughs> it is of me and my family. <laughs> Look at this photograph. See the painting above the fireplace? Yes, it's La Malediction. The photograph certainly appeared to link the old man to the painting. There you go. Yeah, it's like Sam. I forgot this guy even existed. TV, you took TVH. the photographs at that robbery, huh? I did, yes. I need to see them. Why? Please, I must see them. <laughs> Just tell me why, though. All right. Here they are. Do you need your reading glasses there, old man? <laughs> this one was rejected. George got in the way. Typical. Who is this George? Just a friend. He ensured the painting. Friends on the game, man. Fuck this. He will know who is this liar who claims to own my painting. I don't think he does. He would have told me. This is the best shot I took. They used it in the paper. Yes, it is how I recognize La Maledicción, my painting. It does look like the one in your photograph. 
So close, but now it is lost again. He's the thief making off with a pity. What is that tattoo on his arm? Bad it looks like a skull and crossbones. Headhunters, hmm? You oh, will hunters. find him, and then you will find my painting. I can try, monsieur. What you the fuck, man? Chill out. Mm, this shop didn't come. It's perfect. Perfect? Finally, la malediction in all its splendor. The lines, the color, the detail. It's been so long since I've seen it. Well, then take it. That shot is no good to me. <laughs> Tell me really? it's all yours. Thank you, mademoiselle. <laughs> Is that it then? George Henry and the Thief. Yep. Marquez's story was very interesting, but I needed to corroborate it. I wondered if the gallery kept ownership records. Let's go find out, eh? And while I didn't wholly trust him, this was the one lead that I didn't want to lose. Where are you staying? What? Nowhere. Here, perhaps. <laughs> I didn't want him to stay in my apartment. There was another solution. My neighbor is out of town for a few days. You could stay there. What the yes. fuck? That would be good. Thank you. Great. Let's go. Is that normal? My neighbor's away. You can stay at their house. What? Adam said that he would leave the spare key under the mat. 